Now we want to sort of create a neck area here. And to do that, we will want to insert a cylinder. Now there's other ways of doing this and I'll show you another way really quickly, but just say we want to insert the cylinder and you're like, what, why is that there, et cetera, et cetera. Well, these are all your tools that are sort of available to you. One of them being a cylinder that we could use for the neck. And the way that you could insert that into here is with a pend or insert. So a pend will always just put it at the bottom here and you can see it. I think it's there too, a pen and insert. Insert just puts it one below, a pen puts it at the bottom. So a pen being control A on my hotkeys and we can just append a cylinder. So now that we've got that cylinder there, you see it's created another one. Now we're not in it currently because this one's highlighted. You just alt tap on it. Sometimes you gotta make the brush a little bit smaller to get in there. So now we're on this object. Now it looks like that's happened, but we're just scrolling down. It's still all there, don't stress. And we'll hit E, but E, W and R are all the same sort of hotkey now in ZBrush. And we can spin this and position it how we want. So Alt G will switch that grid back on again now. And you can sort of see how this is going to sort of work. Now it's not gonna be perfect, but we can use our sculpting tools to bring this back. We can use the bend tools and things like that. So that's one way of doing it. Now to get them all back together again, later on, I'm gonna show you a different way of doing this straight away. Just an alternative, there's three ways I'm gonna make this. Just this block shape. We can click on that top one there. And by the way, the up and down arrows are just navigating up and down those. I would definitely put the subtool over here in this menu, but that can't be moved. So that's gotta stay there. So now that we're at the top one here, and I'll take the background off, just say that we wanted them all as one object again, we can just go merge down. So I get really confused over here, but it's under here and it's in the merge and you have to look around a lot for that. So instead of like having to go into it, poke through a lot of menus here, just put all the main subtool stuff up here. And then it's pretty easy. So there's the up and down and the navigation keys. And then we've got all the merge. So merge visible, merge down and things like that. We don't really want to merge visible. That's going to do something else, but let's just merge down. So that just is sort of like a combine. So now we just go, okay. And these aren't undoable for some reason. So we just got to go with that and say, yeah, we really do want to do this. And now all of those objects are one again. So we've done a combine. So to extract them all out again, we've got split to parts. And that will just do each single shell as a mesh and we'll split all those out so we could hit that button too and we just go okay and now that's become three again now it sort of hides them but they are still there so there you go now what i want to do is delete some of these guys and we're just going to do it in a different order now let's just delete the cylinder first so we can just hit delete and that will delete that guy it's not undoable as well so we'll delete that bottom one too and you can do delete hidden that's actually technically not a subtool but we can delete other and there's other buttons there but now we are in that guy there. You'll notice that this sort of is not multiple subtools, so there's not much we can do with that anymore. Alt G. And we're gonna do this in a slightly different way. This way is a way in ZBrush that we can, and I'm in orthographic mode here, so it's just sort of inverted itself. So switch back to perspective, P, and now we can see that that's a little bit better. We're gonna do this in a slightly different way and just not do it in the object way, in the traditional Maya way, and we'll, we'll have a look at a couple of things. So from the side view, hit P again to get back into orthographic. We'll do the same step in the same way. So control and we'll get that. And now you'll notice that the pivot of this guy has now changed. Okay, so that can happen. But all you gotta do is to get that pivot, and this is a good thing to remember, is hold the Alt key, click on that one, that just puts it back into world, and then that guy centers the pivot. So that's a really, really nice one to remember. So we're just gonna do the same thing here put that roughly up to the size that we wanted it. And now we wanna put in another cylinder here. So there's other ways of building cylinders in ZBrush. And one of them is just to add it to the current subtool or the current object. And that guy there is the IMM primitives. This is probably the new way of doing it. There was an old way, but we can click on that guy now and then just insert a cylinder. Okay, that's probably the best one for us right here. Now, because we're in symmetry mode, we can come up here and sort of to the point there when it's joined. Now, when you click and drag it, it will make a cylinder and you can make that as big or as small as you want. Now, what happens is you'll be noticing that it's masking automatically off the other things other than that we've created. And this is great because now we can just hit the W key. And because we created that, it's sort of smart enough to know where the orientation is and things like that. And we can now grab that and scale it up to the right size or roughly the right size. Now to see what we've just created, we can just click and drag around. And we're gonna hit Alt G again to bring that out and we'll just stay in this mode, but you can hit Shift F. Now Shift F shows polygroups and polygroups can be different colors and we'll get into this in a bit, but you can also see the wireframe this way. So you can see actually the wireframe we've created has got a lot of divisions. That's just the default cylinder like that. So let's just leave that there. Shift F, take that off again. 